a minute and talk about dosing and religion. Um, you know that dosing is not based on religion. I call it our birthright technology, our birthright ability. There are the five senses we're familiar with, touch, taste, sight, hearing, uh, smell, whatever else I've missed. Um, but there's the mysterious sixth sense that people somehow have thought this is a mystery. Obviously, though, it's not a mystery. It's simply the ability to detect electromagnetic energy. Like, it's not that big a deal, right? When the little hairs on the back of your neck stand up or whatever, when you stand into a strong power line, we've heard stories at this conference about holding a fluorescent tube and it lighting up. Mm -hmm. So that, if that's a real clear demonstration of electromagnetic energy that is in us all the time. And we are electromagnetic with the uh, MRIs and ECGs. We're emitting electromagnetic pulses all the time. And we have piezoelectric parts in our bones and different places in our brain that receive and send electromagnetic energy. So this stuff is totally normal. It's just that people haven't, haven't understood it. And as I say, it's normal, but maybe not average. But some of us, you know, whether we've come in crisis emotionally or some other way, suddenly you have to start activating these things or noticing, oh, isn't that interesting, when, when, uh, when a, a bird flies across my vision in a certain way, then I get a phone call kind of thing. So there's many signs. In our Western world, we're pretty, we're pretty removed from nature. So we need these tools to tell us things. But in other cultures, they can look at the swan flying in a certain direction, or the way the tree is bending, or when the wind blows. If you're working with spirit in this country, and maybe other countries, but this is where I've worked, if you're working with spirit and you invite the elder spirits, the wind will blow. Has anybody noticed that? Yeah.